there. My name is Matoke Hannington. A very English name. <laughs> but I'm, uh, my stage name is Okiondo. So basically what I do with my life is um, I breathe, I wake up, I sleep. But apart from that, I also do write scripts. I tell stories. Um, I act. Sometimes I make people laugh. And I'm a Christian. Born again. Amen. Nyaburu Catholic Church. Yeah, I'm Steve Momani. I was known as a Soro. I'm, a, I'm an artist, a filmmaker. I tell stories. I act. I direct as my small way of contributing to the to humanity of, with hope of making the world a better place. Right. So Right. Yeah. Now, um, this is not your area of residence, right? Mm -hmm. So, um, why are you in Eldoret and not where you live normally? You know, actually, uh, all my life I've never lived where I'm supposed to live. I'm supposed to be a resident of uh, Texas City. <laughs> 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 but most of the time I find myself in a, vi a small village in Kisi town and at times in Nairobi. But basically that's because we are doing what call, uh, God called us to do. That is um, make other people in the world happy. Because we have to sacrifice our time and our careers to focus on telling our African stories. And we started from telling uh, stories are Kisi, um, uh, the Kisi culture. But uh, as you know, Omogusi as a person, Omogusi as a people, uh, Orandi, eh? which means uh, yeah, <laughs> as <I'm> Randa. <laughs> uh, now, if you walk to Minnesota, if you walk to Texas, if you walk to New York, you'll find a Kisi there. If you walk to Nairobi, if you walk to Eldoret, if you walk to Kitale, if you walk to Marsabit, you'll still find a kissy there. And uh, Omogosi is one of those people who has embraced what we call intermarriage. So we no longer feel like um, a Kalenjin or a Luo or a Luya or a Kamba or a Mzungu or a whatever tribe is a foreigner because they have come to be part of the Omogosi people. So, as much as we are telling uh, stories that are based from where we come from, we realize that uh, we are uh, living with other people, which means we'll start telling more diverse stories, moving from telling stories in Ekegusi to telling stories in uh, Kiswahili, in English, in French, in Taekwondo is the language. And it's a Chinese language. <laughs> uh, so basically, we, we moved from uh, Kisi, not really moving, but with uh, an invitation from a friend known as Gavin, who is uh, a patron to an acting group known as Safari Skits, which is based in Eldoret. So we are here basically in Eldoret to interact with act, uh, actors and artists in Eldoret town to do collaborations, which will help both we, from Kisi and the people who are based in Eldoret, to share experiences and make better products or make better films and tell diverse stories. That's why we are here, to tell a beautiful story in a collaboration with the Safari Skips in Eldoret. What has been your role in uh, the collaboration? Uh, I was the director of the movie. And it's been an awesome experience. Yeah, I was the right. I think I should just answer your question. Mm -hmm. uh, will you feel like, uh, about the story where you become a director? Uh, the story is uh, a deep one. And of course, uh, it's an experience that uh, a, about a little girl who joins campus. And of course, all the 
things that she goes through and the people around her. It is an experience that is rampant in our current society, let's say in the African setup mostly. And it's an, an experience that's going to be an eye opener to the society, to the girls and boys in uh, that age, and of course to the society, to the parents and uh, everybody. Because uh, it's, uh, I could say, a life of a teenage girl is a responsibility of everyone. So the story is deep and I believe it's going to be irrelevant to uh, all the people across the ages. Um, my role basically was producing the film uh, and also uh, first when we were starting this project we had done a movie uh, which was talking about life. I'm a Maisha, I had to kiss it down. Your movie, the title there was Songo Chituka. We were telling a story affecting young people in Kisi Town. And then now, when we got an invitation to go Elder at Town, so that we can also tell an Elder at story. And I'm Eldoret Town is a home of very many universities. I think we have more than 10 universities in Eldoret. Campuses or main campuses. So, a majority of all of us on Ishii Town, some of the youths, we want to maybe, when we have a campus in Eldoret, they are looking for work in Eldoret, but they are still students up at Eldoret. So, we wanted to to, to pay our say story and you're neither late now and you're in town. So that's why to a figure for your story and you're not going to today. That's how we came up with the story. So I'm partly involved in uh, storytelling and producing the film. Uh, so, so what, are, what have been the main uh, challenges in delivering the story itself? Mm, actually, Just yes. the story. Oh, just the story. To, uh, for me as a director, it was a uh, challenge to do kwanza to work now to see fanya kazi now before. And uh, uh, with the time, I, I, I had to take my time to understand their strengths and uh, the best way to help them tell this story. And of course, uh, although it is not my place uh, where I operate from, uh, sometimes I could feel out of place. And uh, you know, a director needs to feel uh, really comfortable. We did not have time enough time to be around enough. So sometimes you could go to locations and uh, you realize the picture you had about the location and the the, the kind of uh, creativity you had come up with. But now to deliver a story, uh, let's say in a campus setup, the location doesn't look anything like what you expected. Uh, sometimes uh, the actors you're working with. Uh, you want to push them uh, maybe this direction and you realize they have a different understanding so you love to merge your thinking with that of the actor to make sure that you deliver the story. The, the greatest challenge I think is that uh, we were, I was not here, we were not here early enough, we did not have enough time. You understand we were working with a really uh, strained budgets. We were not here in early enough so that we can uh, visit and uh, do the rec uh, early enough to have the locations and come up with imagination so how we deliver the story early enough. Uh, for the producer, what were the um, <coughs> challenges in terms of logistics in delivering the project? Um, I'd share the same sentiments with my director here. When you see Sino say to me, so kiss it down. So, okay, kiss it down. Uh, we've made enough contact that if you need a school, unajua uta kolo mse flani, akupea shule. Ukitaji nyumba, unajua uta kolo mse flani, akupea nyumba. Talking about locations. And then, you will definitely approximate unajua, kama tuna shoot nyanjwa, na tuko town, utajua hapa nda move five minutes, nimefika location, so, inakua very easy to plan. So, hapa, 
unajua unaambiwa next location ni Mosoriot. Unafikiria Mosoriot ni kama kutoka town na Nyanjo. <laughs> Kumbe Mosoriot ni kama kwenda Rongo. <laughs> so na pato meban fuel hapo eh ile budget ulikuwa umepanga kwamba you'll move within town a kilometer or two. Realize umeenda 15 kilometers. So you'll have to again readjust. Kitu kingine ni mazee eh, food is expensive in Eldoret town. Watu Eldoret wote wanafaa wa mie kisi. <laughs> Wakule kidogo chapo ni 40 bob. Eh. Chapo ni 40. Eh uh, so naza sema basically ni atukwa tume tume adjust mind yetu tu. Things might not be the same na kisi town so unapata vitu zina flex a bit in terms of budget and affect budgeting kidogo but we manage mungu ni nani uh, this 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 project has been a collaboration between uh, uh, artists from kisi the kenya show majali and uh, safari skits uh, can you share your feelings on uh, the strengths of uh, safari skits and the areas of uh, opportunities of uh, growth that you feel that they have um <clears throat> I would say uh, just like it, as it should be just like uh, people in real life in different disciplines and uh, industries uh, we are different the kind of st- the strengths we have uh, with our people in KC the people we work with I think uh, I would make, I would say it's easier to work with them because I've already known their strengths and uh, uh, how far they can be pushed and maybe I've understood them uh, in a way that I know if I shout they will not uh, pack and go home and risk not finishing the project but the difference really on growth on uh, on, on strength is that uh, after working with these guys for uh, from the first day in fact when I saw them the first day the actors from Elder I was like okay uh, we need help but after working with them uh, the first day I realized our power me funguka in Square Plaza so with the time uh, I realized again that uh, these are people if they have more work to do if they interact with the different directors maybe from other areas and of course insist on uh, growing even when there's no project insist on uh, becoming diverse they are very talented human beings who I believe uh, people need to watch out for so great as we finish up uh, producer uh, is this the first and the last is this the one and only project that we are having in, in terms of uh, partnerships uh, what's the future uh, of this collaboration um this is just but the beginning of very many projects that are going to come up we already have uh, in the pipeline more than 2 3 4 movies that we need to do with these guys so in mwanzo tu na decisions zingine una make after we interact with us so interaction yetu na solidarity imekuwa so smooth and then uh, the level of potential yenye iko kwa wase especially the actors was any any other actor out there should be scared because these people are so talented and then the level of passion discipline and sacrifice on the show it gives me so much hope and there's so much yearning to work with them more so definitely more to come yeah if i may add Uh, the, another difference is uh, I think I'd say this and I'm, I'm, I'm a part of the problem the actors from uh, Eldred are uh, more professional than actors from KC in KC we can say well, let's meet at 9 and people will come at 11 but uh, these guys from uh, Eldred kudos they did really amaze me on how they keep time and another stupid thing I'd say is Uh, my favorite the favorite person the guy i would say i'd say was the favorite person to work with was the lead character who is uh, who was playing eve but uh, even after the project is over i don't know how to pronounce her name <laughs> i don't know it's Zush. 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 <laughs> i think na pasi wa ndiki wa na record jinaage wenye na pronounce hiyo ni kangi ya fonts kenda kisi so that our next interviewer jinaake but it was amazing and she's uh, humble which was uh, one of the reasons why we really managed to complete this project in time oh, it was past time according to the mm-hmm. producer yeah it was great isn't was a parting shot parting shots 
Um, every other actor when you go in jail. Every other actor when you go in jail, whether you've had a chance to appear on a movie or not, uh, whether you are still in school or not, whether you go in jail or you go to discover. Um, and the director can attest to this. But the discipline, discipline do you take a role? See if you learn normal. Discipline do you take a role? You don't need connection. You don't need to know anybody. You don't need my number. You only need discipline. No way available. You can be very talented, but who available? So, actors, maintain discipline. Be professional and work hard. So my parting shots are for the people of Doret, uh, generally even the public. There's a big project coming up. Save time. Keep following Safari Skits on uh, on uh, social media platforms to know your movie Tatokalini na ita launch your wapi. And then of course, this is a very big project yenye sisi taka watu wangu wakisiwa wami. So I think I'll talk to the Safari Skits so after we premiere the movie in Eldoret, we also take this big movie to the people of Kisi. Keep locked. To our panda support you enough. God bless you. God bless you. Uh, Fourteen shot, yeah. I'll, I'll echo what uh, the producers said. Kuna movie kubwa na kujua watu ya Lord. And uh, we are in a quest of uh, creating a culture in Kenya. Mali tuna support na kuwatch vitu zetu. Uh, this story is big, and I believe akura mtu moja ni nyata watch asema I cannot relate with this. So when we make noise online, keep following us uh, as Safari Skits. What and DZ TV, what I'll keep show, follow me as also the actor online. We'll keep you informed. At a premium up here, and we are, like he said, we really want to take it to KC as well. And Nairobi, because in his language, in Asikika, Kenya, and East Africa. So it's going to be big. See you soon. <coughs> One last thing, huh? Kuna majama wa komali, labda wa koko kitui, wa koko bungoma, wa koko mombasa. Any mnafanya acting, uh, but I'm doing how you can move from the level muko to do something uh, big or to get a platform or malim that you can challenge. Reach us out. Uh, this has opened my mind that we need collaborations. We need to do uh, a Kenya Uganda collaboration. We need to do a Kisi uh, Mombasa collaboration. We need to do a Kisi uh, Hollywood collaboration. <laughs> <laughs> so, hiyo ya Hollywood kwanza. Eh? Wakisi wetu tunaona au uko nje mmefungua channels YouTube na mko na equipment mingi na mko na talent. Hebu tuite tufanye collab. Wherever you are in the in the world, kwanza nataka kwenda Malawi. Tutane kwa na cha Rwanda. Sawa sawa. Sawa, thank you. Sarap, kalau kita nak kacau.